If you would love angel guidance to help you deal with the energies associated from the 21st of January to the 25th, keep watching. Hello my loves, welcome back to another episode. I'm Melody Kate Love, if you are new here, and if you are, consider subscribing. I upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday, which is all about helping you release your blockages and vibrate on the frequency of love with angel guidance. Now the phase of the moon that we are in right now is this one, which is all about refining. So you have just set your intentions and it's about refining those intentions, which is going to help you manifest them into your reality. Today, we're going to be doing a quick three card reading using the Angel Oracle from Darren Virtue. So pay attention to anything that jumps out at your subconscious because that is your divine message. It's going to be helping you, you know, get to the place where you want to be. So are you ready for the delicious goodness? Na, 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 na. Okay, angels, what is my MK love? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, good Lord. That was quick, speedy energy. <laughs> Listen to the sound deep within a melody. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so it's like the angels are saying, okay, we're giving you all of this lovely guidance, but I don't feel like you're actually in the right vibration to hear it because I feel like you're moving like... 50 miles an hour. So the angels are like, okay, hold on a moment. Let me, I feel like you need to do your self-love practices a lot more so that you can be in the right vibration to hear this divine messages. Okay, what else does my MK Love fan need to know, angels? It's my ear sticking out. Cut that. Nobody got time for that. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. We had two cards. The first one I saw was steady progress. I know a lot of you get fixated on the destination, but it's all about enjoying the journey. I am where I am and it's okay. Everything that you're literally going through right now is divinely orchestrated and it is preparing you for your highest good. Whew, that's interesting. And then the third one is let go of your past. You need to release and you need to surrender what no longer serves you because your angels are saying, I have a beautiful plan laid out for you, but I can't give you what you need because you need to listen first. You need to surrender so you are able to listen to this beautiful divine guidance. Okay, are you ready for your affirmation for today? I relax into my intention. I breathe with ease. It's such a beautiful affirmation because it just lets you know that yes, okay, we've had the new moon uh, energies associated with Capricorn, which is all about, you know, setting the intentions. What do you want? And now the, the angels are saying, okay, just breathe easy and rest assured that everything that you want is coming at the perfect time. There's no need to rush ahead. Slow and steady wins the race. That's kind of beautiful. It's just three cards. So if you want to take a screenshot, you're welcome to do so. Get my hand out of the way. So we've got listen, steady progress, and let your past go. So my loves, what came up with you, what came up for you during this time? Because that is your divine message. Now, let me just show you this beautiful card from my friend Joe from the Moon on the Scorp Journal. So we've covered the new moon phase, the waxing crescent. The next reading that you're going to see is all going to be about the first quarter. So that one is, the affirmation is I take discerning action to support my intention. So that will be your next reading. So make sure you keep a watch out for that because that's going to be delivered on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions or comments, what came up for you, you're welcome to comment below. All right, my loves, I love you, love you, love you. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.